Assalamu alaikum learners. Today our topic is types of matrices and exercise questions. Hope you like it and do practice it for better learning. Types of matrices. Number one is row matrix. A matrix is called a row matrix if it has only one row. For example, M is equals to 3, minus 5 and 8. Now we can see that order of this matrix is that it has one row and three columns. P is equals to 4 and 3. Now we can see that order of this matrix is one row and two columns. In this way, we can say that M and P are row matrices. Now, column matrix. A matrix is called a column matrix if it has only one column. For example, C is equal to 2 and 4. Now, we can see that there is only one column. Its order is 2 by 1. Two rows and one column. Now Z is equals to 109. Here again we can see there is only one column and its order is 3 by 1. Three rows and one column. Now the square matrix. A matrix is called a square matrix if its number of rows is equal to its number of columns. Now the key point is number of rows is equal to number of columns. For example, A is equals to 2, minus 1, 0, 3. Now here we can see that the number of rows are 1 and 2 equal to number of columns, column 1 and column 2. This means here the order of the matrix is 2 by 2. So we can say that matrix A is a square matrix. B is equals to 1, 4, 6, minus 1, 0, 9, 5, 2, 3. Here we can see that there are 3 rows and 3 columns. Here the order of the matrix is 3 by 3. It means 3 rows and 3 columns. Again, by seeing that there are 3 rows and 3 columns, the number of rows is equal to the number of columns. It is a square matrix. C is equals to only one entry 5. Here there is only one row and one column. Again the key point that number of rows should be equal to the number of column. Here the order is also one by one rows and columns are equal. So we can say that this is also a square matrix. So by watching this whole video you can see that the matrix A, B and C. Their orders are same. This means that the order of matrix A is 2 by 2, rows and columns are same. B, rows and columns are same, 3 by 3. C, rows and columns are same, 1 by 1. So they are the square matrices. Rectangular matrix. A matrix is called rectangular if the number of rows is not equal to number of columns. Here the key point is that the number of rows are not equal to the number of columns. For example, matrix A is 1, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Here you can see that there are 3 rows but 2 columns. The order of this matrix is 3 by 2. So the rows are not equal to columns or columns are not equal to rows. So the matrix A is a rectangular matrix. Example B, 1, 2 and 3. Here we can see that there is one row but three columns. Here the order is 1 by 3. This is also a rectangular matrix. Part D, 7, 2, 0. Here we can see that there are three rows but one column. The order is three by one. So this is also a rectangular matrix. 
matrix a b d are called rectangular matrices as number of rows is not equal to number of columns now the null or zero matrix a matrix is called null or zero matrix if each entry is zero for example it is also denoted by zero or o is equals to zero 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 here again the matrix has all the entries zero here also and here also so the null matrix or zero matrix is the matrix in which all the entries are zero now negative of a matrix this is a very important topic let a be a matrix then it's negative minus a is obtained by changing the signs of the entries of matrix a a is equals to 1 minus 2 3 and 4 now what we will do is when we have to get the negative of a we will change the signs of the entries here the sign is plus in the negative we will have minus here the sign is minus in the negative we will have it plus here plus here minus here plus here minus so the key point is that if we want to get the negative of a matrix we will change the signs of the entries of the matrix now let's do some exercise question find the negative of the matrices now the key point as i told you before is changing the signs of the entries question number one a is equals to one zero one now negative of a is we will change the sign minus one zero and one question number two b is equals to three minus one two one negative of b will be changing the signs of the entries 3 plus 3 minus minus 1 plus 1 2 minus 2 1 minus 1 part c 2 6 3 2 negative of c will be changing the signs of the entries of the matrix minus 2 minus 6 minus 3 and minus 2 part d minus 3 2 minus 4 5 again negative of the matrix D will be 3 minus 2 4 and minus 5 how we get it by changing the signs of the entries of the matrix